Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Repentant. Now this was developed by A8 Studio, published by Restless Corp and it's available to you for just $8.39 slash $9.99. So we play as Oliver, a man with intense alcoholism problems after doing nasty things to his ex-wife but begins to feel remorse and believes he can atone for his sins. Now for the awesome art style and even Oliver himself seems familiar, it's because this is a partial sequel to A8 Studios of the game Little Kite. Now in Little Kite, you play as Mary and her son, and Oliver is shown, so things he actually talks about in this game actually do reference a Little Kite. Now this is a really talked about subject, especially in video games, so kudos to A8 for putting these games together. Also, you don't have to have played Little Kite, Little Kite to get things in this game. Now as for achievements, like I said, just like Little Kite, this is an easy list, 9 of the 10 uh, achievements are story related and there's only one missable, but one thing I should say is, if you want the full 1k at the moment, the PC version unlocks all achievements with no issues. If you only have Xbox, note that the Broken Nose achievement is currently bugged, so we will have to wait a pat for a patch for that to unlock, but if you play on PC, everything should unlock as it should. So this should only take around half hour or so, so with that being said then, let's do it! And the first thing we can do is press the start button and skip cutscene. Now, as you can see, you can use the right or left stick to move with your cursor, A button to interact. To open the inventory, just put the arrow all the way to the top of the screen, and then you can just press the A button, drag it with the left stick, and then press the A button again to use it. So, first of all, we're going to pick up the bottle here by the door. Already going in for the old drinky drinks of life. Delicious. Ah, uh, half empty is good enough. Right, just to the right of you is a pipe sticking out of the box, so you're going to stick the pipe, or grab it. Now go up to the top of the screen, press the A button on the pipe, drag it over to this little metal box, and on the bottom, press the A button again to use it. Simple stuffs, you know? Simple, simple, pimple, wimple. Right, so, next up, grab the brick just by the curb, and he will put that somewhere in his pocket or something. Grab the brick, use it on the car mirror. Again, it'll obviously show up um, with yellow when you know when you know where you can put things. Then just click on the ground here to walk to the left side of the screen. And then what we're going to do is go into our inventory, use the car mirror, and then use that on the crack in the window. Again, when it is highlighted, you know that you're putting it in the right spot. So we're halfway there. Right, grab the metal sh reflecting sheet that you've done uh, put earlier. Use it on this metal pole. That's a little better. That's a little better. But we need it a lot better. So grab the half empty bottle that you grabbed and use it on the f on the light on the floor just in front of the door. So just off the curb. There we go. Till do, till too pig. That'll do. Right, and apparently now we can use the phone, which apparently we couldn't use before because it was too dark. So use the uh, quar quarters that you've got. Use it on the payphone, and we are going to be phoning. Our ex-wife, Mary, who, remember, Hello. Oliver used to uh, do nasty things to, and Mary's like, bruh, nah, things ain't happening, bruh. So that will get you the first try achievement anyway. So now we can actually head into the shop. And uh, we can just press the A button here to skip the dialogue. And what we're going to do is try and head to the right-hand side of the screen. Some dialogue will happen, and we will punch the cashier square in the old nostrilies. This is where the Broken Nose achievement should unlock, but like I said, currently at the time of recording, it is bugged and it won't unlock. A hell of a punch, by the way. Um, <laughs> so, if you're playing on PC, this will unlock. On Xbox, currently, it doesn't. So, yeah. Um, we'll just have to wait for a patch, which is fair, just fair. Right, so, when we've done that, we've broken his nose, what we're going to do is uh, interact with this box here to grab the knife. And then we can interact with this coat hanger, but like we won't be able to grab the coat hanger. So if we head to the left-hand side of the screen again, usually just keep clicking the floor and you should be golden as nuggets. Uh, click this thing here, click the plug to unplug the plug. That makes sense. And then we can actually click on the hanger again. And of course, then we will be able to pick it up. Incredible stuff. Right, from here then, what we can do is head to the right-hand side of the screen, all the way over to the right-hand side of the screen now. And we're going we're gonna to do a couple of things in this area. So, first of all, interact with the solder machine. The solder machine, just a crack in it. What you're going to do is give that the uh, headbutt of life. 
the soda got stuck on it. Oh, there's actually nothing worse than that, is there? So use the coat hanger anyway. Use that on the bottom of the soda machine. And one will automatically be placed into your inventory. Right, so from here, what we're going to do now is we can head to the left. Head all the way to the left. And we actually uh, pick up an automatic wine bottle as well. Grande. So what we can do now is go all the way back to the left-hand side of the screen. By the way, the majority of the game just t takes place in this shop. So if you're wondering if uh, anything else is going to happen, well, let's find out. Let's skip the cutscene again. And... Da -da! Oh my god, it's a robbery. And that's why America... That's the only thing America uses gun for, right? Robbing small corner shops and stuff. So, what we're going to do... I'm just joking, by the way. Love you. Right, go back to the right. And uh, apparently we're just going to take our time doing stuff. So, we're going to open the right-hand side uh, freezer door. While there's a robbery going on, we're like, not feeling that. And then just head to the left. That will automatically close. And the little bit of pipe will drop down, which we can grab. So, you know, do your grabbing stuff, bruh. Yeah, man, you got it. Right, from here, what we can do then is if we interact with the fire extinguisher, you're going to notice a big puff of um, fire extinguisher. Uh, yeah, just go nuts. So what we can do then is go back into your inventory, grab the little pipe that we just grabbed, or the long pipe, put that in the fan above. And now we can interact with the fire extinguisher. So, um, our good deed, by the way, is about to be all undone because we're about to be psychotically preyed upon. So, after this then, what we can do, uh, this will unlock the third, if you're playing on PC, the third achievement. Um, or should technically be the third one anyway, called Saviour. So, let's just head to the left to see Q-Ball, because that's a hell of a name for someone who's completely bald. Uh, we ain't going to be able to skip the cutscene here. You thought you could rob me? Well, she was about to, but I saved the day, but now I kind of regret my choice. Eh, unlucky. Ah, look, man. Right, now we can skip the cutscene. We've got the savior achievement. We're all good. So, while things are going on, we are going to talk to the lady and ask, Why? 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 Did you try Why? I'm not a criminal. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a crim. I just like to rob stuff. Now choose, are you crying? Which, to be fair, if I've just been punched in the nose and I've got a gun upon me, I'm crying, okay? I don't give a crap if I look like an absolute bum. Right, now we can just end. So, nay bother, nay panic. We've uh, established why she's crying. We've established why she's doing it. Let's end and crack on. Right, so from here then, we're going to basically uh, head outside. But we are going to need to gain entry to the pantry on the left uh, soon enough. So, big chunky bodybuilder broski, we're gonna speak to L Bodybuildos. I need to make a call. I'm a yeah, I'm a tough guy. <laughs> Damn it. Now, big massive gym guys like that are normally genuinely the sweetest guys ever. They normally don't talk like that. So, uh, I mean, but for the most part. Anyway, give him the soda can, and he's uh, he's an athlete. So, we need to find him five protein drinks. So, again, while all this robbery and stuff's going on, we're just taking our time and getting some bodybuilder his protein drinks. Not bad, not bad. They're still there, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, normally, in real life, she'd probably just run out by now and be like, Sorry, mate. But what we're going to do is go to the pantry door here on the left. Um, that's not going to happen, so we're going to go on ahead and ask Q-Ball, the cashier. And just ask him about the pantry key. Oh, interesting, huh? Right, let's end this and let us go and, uh, well, let's go and grab some stuff. Right, just by the left-hand side of the wall is an item we can pick up here. Yep, whatever it is, we've got it now. So make sure to pick that up just where we were standing then. A uh, bit, bit of a... Uh, get on your knees. Bruh, this is called... Uh, this is uh, this is an erectable offence right now. Even with the gun pointing at you. But uh, anyway, go to the right here and now pick up this little protein bottle on the shelf before moving to the right so you should have one protein drink already the second one is going to be directly where we are just on the shelf by the milk and stuff so that's uh i mean that's that the third one by the way is just to the right uh so there it is just to the right next to the white bottles that looks more like creamy goo rather than uh protein but uh well it depends on the protein doesn't it right open up the fridge the fourth one here is underneath so that should be four protein drinks that you have now and the fifth one we have to make in the pantry. So, 
what we're going to do now, uh, you can see the sort of uh, recycling bin at the bottom. That's what we need to get into. Uh, but we can't because we've got a few things to do first. And that first thing to do is go into inventory, grab the knife, and just use it on the, um, pi not the pipes, but the strings holding it. Then you can interact with the top two barrels, smash them out of the way with your incredible new bodybuilder found strength, and then we can interact with the recycling box. And funnily enough, that is where he hid the key. Not very good there by Mr. Cashier. Right, so from here then, what we can now do is basically just head all the way back to the left-hand side of the screen. Oliver, really making up for lost time so far. Stealing four protein drinks and stealing a pantry key. It's going well, this atonement. So, <laughs> right, so now we can head to the left. And apparently, Cue Ball isn't going to care, even though we are literally, in his view, just about to go into the pantry. Job done, mate. Job done for us. Right. Now we're in here, we will get the achievement there called a Secret Room, and we've got a few things to do in here. So first thing we are going to do is interact with the uh, locked, um, the, get the knife, sorry, get the knife, and use it on this bottle here, which is on the uh, fourth row, just next to this tar pit. So you'll get two items there, a label and a uh, lid. So use the label, well, we'll have to move out of the way, sorry, let's just move out of the way there. Now we can go ahead, grab the label, and use it on the bucket of tar. Okay, yeah. Tar, tar very much. Tar for your tar. Now what we can do then is interact with the uh, locker to open that up. And now we can use the lid. We'll try and use the lid. There it is. So use the lid on the jar, which is on the um, second to bottom shelf there on the right hand side. Once we do that, we can now go back into our inventory. Use the sticky tar label on the uh, delicious, what's supposed to be protein. Now we can head back outside. So we've got the bodybuilder's five protein shakes. Jobs are good. Un. And now we can literally just head to the right. So we've got one more little thing that we need to do first. And that little thing is grab a bottle of milk, which is on this shelf where we are standing. It's on the right. There it is. So grab the milk. Now we can put the milk inside of the um, empty jar. That's what I was trying to get at. All five drinks. So all five drinks. And fair play, that's a free fi five free protein drinks. That's pretty damn impressive. Right, so let's head outside now. We're going to give uh, old Mega Nuts his... Well, not Mega Nuts, but Mega Bicep Man his five protein drinks. That will also get us the next achievement uh, for getting all five protein oh, drinks, in case you were wondering. No, I'll become even bigger. He seems to be carrying the five protein drinks a bit weirdly. But anyway, we're all done now. So what we can do is we're going to use the quarter. We're going to use that on the telephone box. He's not going to go for it. So we're going to make him go for it. Get the quarter again and put it straight back in the phone. And we're going to, once again, instead of calling the police and going, look, mate, there's a robbery here. Come over before somebody gets shot and stuff. He goes straight for the Mary. Who is basically, she says, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Oliver, get your stuff and get the hell out of it. That's not the uh, nursery rhyme I remember anyway. Anyway, we can now go ahead and skip the cutscene once more. The girl seems desperate. And, uh, yeah, store owner is a bit nuts, isn't he? So let's go in and see what's going on. Hi, guys. Have you, have you still got the gun pointed? Eh... No, they've disappeared, which can only mean bad news for the Ladia. So, grab the pantry key, use it on the pantry door, and ta-da, bad stuff's happening. What the hell? Mary? Right, so now we are into a dream sequence then. So, uh, the maze, this is pretty much an... A, a, a lot of it is an obvious path. We're going to start heading up and to the left here. But basically, the uh, point of it is we basically have to find... These bloody footprints, that's when you know you're on the right path, is when you find these uh, bloody footprints. And then you have to find four items that we need to interact with to end the dream sequence. So, we're heading up here. It is a dead end, 
Um, and I'm not entirely sure if that that was totally necessary, but I think to get the the uh, foot uh, the bloody footprints to show up, I think maybe we had to do that. But anyway, um, we only have to do that twice, so it's all good. So there's the first set of bloody footprints, so you know you're on the right path as we continue to head to the right. Right. And then we can continue heading right to the right. And we can head up. So yeah, this bit seems like, as you can see, we're going to now head left. But this bit seems like it's uh, going to last just absolute ages. Just because Oliver's not really quick, is he? He does the gentlest walk you've ever seen for an alcoholic man. Anyway, interact with this first item here. And that's one out of three done. Right, let us now, let us, let us, let us pray. No, let us just continue to walk and get to the other side. Right, so we're going to head up to the right, of course, and then we're heading up to the upper game, which is another dead end. And this is this the last time that we're going to be doing this there, uh, but it is a dead end. It's Again, it was a case of, I don't know if the bloody footprints were going to show up unless I went that way. But anyway, like I said, it's all done now. So uh, you can see the thing... The item, you just passed it on the left there, but we've got a long way to go. Sadly, you can't just jump over. So, continue heading left. And once again, we are going to see the bloody footprints. Eventualius. There they are, yes. So, head down, yes. And, of course, head to the right. Yeah. And there is item number two. It's Broken Glias. Yeah, broken pottery, broken glass, it's all the same broken stuff. Anyway, you've just seen the footprints there on the path just above us, so once we get to the crossroads, take a right. And next we can take an up, because there are the more bloody footprints, so take an up. And of course then it's pretty much, I think now, just one straight long path. No, we're going up again. So ignore what I just said, but we are, we are heading up. And eventually, we are going to see the item. There it is. So when we head to the left, we can head to the up. And this will end the dream sequence. Except it's not going to end the dream sequence because we got one more thing left to find. So sorry, I counted four out of four. Well, and apparently it was three out of four. So uh, as you can tell, math's not good. Right, head down. And then we're going to head to the right. So basically, we have to now go into the top right corner of this little maze in order to finish it. So just keep heading straight. It is now pretty much effectively a straight line all the way there. Uh, keep, heading, uh, keep heading right. Then we can start heading up. Keep heading up. Find Maria. And, uh, I mean, Dom's not going to be too happy. Gears of War reference? <laughs> uh, no, but there we go. So bloody footprints. Keep heading up. We find Maria, dream sequence ends, and now we can begin the long, short, arduous task of, uh, you know, not dying in some store owner's pantry.
that I all right seem to go on forever. But we are back now. So first thing we're going to do is get the missable achievement. So interact with the photo on the photo. desk. It's a piece of a photo. Now on the forefront of the screen is another piece of the photo on a box. And then if we interact with the lockers once again, that is going to be the third photo. It's just on the inside of the door there. So interact with that piece one. Of photo. Piece of a photo. It is, mate. It is. Right, so put all of the pieces of the photo together. The photo of a mother with her son. And what we're going to do is give that photo to the beaten up lady with a broken leg or bandaged leg or something. That's going to get you the mysterious photo achievement. May take a few seconds here to unlock, but plop, there it is. Right, interact with this pipe here on the left-hand side or this tape, whatever it is there. Now we can use the tape in our inventory and use it with the wine bottle. And that's going to get us some soaky blood taped wine tape. Use that soakily blood wait wine taped wine wakey wine tape on the lady to uh, sort her out, and then we have some metal fencing or some mesh or wires, whatever. We basically now have to uh, cut our way out. So what we're going to do then? We can interact with the top drawer, which is directly behind us, and it's going to be locked. So we have to fashion some stuff out, unlock some stuff, and fashion some other stuff to get out of here. So uh, speak to. I mean, whatever you want to call her. Choose sister. What happened with your sister? What? What? Is it something? No. My sister, she was all... However... How about friends? <sighs> okay, we have to crack the drawer. Not sure. And so from here, if we have a look at the left-hand side of the screen, leaning up against the box then is a crowbar. Or some kind of bar fashioned out of bar pipe bar. You? So it is a pipe bar. Anyway, no, they're, they're uh, he's not a very good store. And if you're going to kill people and put oh, them in your oh. store storeroom pantry or whatever you don't you sort of keep someone? items and tools in there that they can escape with so what we're going to do is use that pipe bar we're going to use that with the uh, vice on the um, just by the monitor there so use the pipe with the vice to get a pipe vice now nah, it's just a sharpened tool thing so use the sharpened tool pipe thing use it on the top drawer that is going to open that up lovely now we can move aside grab the tools or the wrench tools or the cutter tools whatever then we can use that with the wire. And ta-da! Job done. Use that uh, thing, use that for a key and use that with the door. And somehow, incredibly, even though he can hear the doors being picklocked and the door opening, and we stand behind him, he somehow doesn't turn around. Yes. Um, and see that we're, um, you. you know, pissing him bad. The bodies. Anyway, that will also get you the... One, two, break free! Achievement! So, we're just going to head back in. We will be back with him in just a moment. So, interact with Lady Baby right here. And we are going to now say cashier. So, choose the top option there. Cashier. Neutralize him! Bruh, he's got a big bald head. He knocked me out. If you turn off the lights in the store? How are turning off the lights? I don't know. So, let's neutralize him, is it? Right where we are standing, there is a bottle of oil on the bottom shelf there on the right. So, pick up the oil, and Oliver will go, Oil! Thank you, Oliver. Thank you, uh, Mr. Observant. Now we can head back out. Yeah, some smelly hobo and a slut. Some smelly hobo and a... That's not very nice. You big cue ball looking douchebag. Right, use the oil with the cashier. I wonder what he was going to do. Um, with his, uh, what looks like a pergina there, to be honest. Uh, but he actually just pops it behind him. So, incredibly, again, he's not looking at the door, so we can just sneak out lovely. Uh, use the spiky metal pipe with the other remaining part of the metal box. And then we can just interact with the switch to turn the lights off. And kablamo! That is wham bam, thank you, ma'am. And he falls down. Funny, funny stuff. Right, lights are back on. Let us now go back inside for a cutscene. If you want to watch the cutscene, it it gets pretty dark right now because how the hell? Did I mean, he just looks like a walrus, doesn't he? Hilariously. Anyway, um, out comes the old sad lady who hasn't had a really good night, to be fair. And it turns out she um, well, I mean that guy dead now. That guy pretty damn dead.
I love how they haven't managed to cover the whole body. Just stick something over his head. I'll do, that'll do. I'll do, pig. Right, excuse me, pig. Let us uh, go to the right-hand side of the screen now. And just in the forefront of the screen on the shelf is another item. It's, it's basically a bowl. I say it's basically a bowl. It is a bowl. So make sure to pick that one up. And then we can head all the way back to the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, we're going to need to be destroying some evidence, of course. So um, head to the left. And we're going to go back into the old pantry room. I'm glad it's not called a pants room. Somebody who's just got an obsession with underpants. Right, so what we can do now from here, uh, we are going to grab the v VS VHS tape. No, Jesus know. Christ, no. <laughs> well, let's come back to that in a minute. But put the ball here on the left-hand side cabinet. Then we can use the VHS tape. Now, this is uh, what uh, people had to do back in the day, by the way, for anyone who's like 18, 19 watching. Use the oil here with that as well. And then what you can do is use the soda can with the fuse box to light the fire and start it up. So go into your inventory, grab the soda, use that, battle fire add up, lovely. So yeah, VHSs, they were kind of like DVDs. Now if you're still too young to know what a DVD is, somehow, um, they were like, it's like Netflix today, where you get series on demand. No, you actually have to go to Blockbuster. Yeah, that's for another day. And you actually had to rent movies. You couldn't just rent it on Sky Plus, even though Sky do love to rip you off. Uh, yeah, it was an incredible time. Old people used to have it bad. We do have it easier now these days, and I prefer it. So, after this then, basically Oliver is going to take the rap, he's going to take the crap, the rap, and the strap on from people in prisons. Because uh, he's taking the blame, it's very nice of you. And to be fair, for beating your ex-wife and stuff, prison is literally the least of your problems. So, or the, the least you deserve, sorry. So, you know, job done. Anyway, that should now be the last achievement. That will be the game done. So, again, if you were playing on PC, you will have gotten 10 out of 10 achievements. If you were playing on Xbox at the minute, again, at the time that this video is out, you'll only be getting 9 out of 10 achievements until the Broken Nose achievement will uh, get patched. Which is fine, because if you're waiting, it'll only take a couple of minutes to get to that point anyway. So, uh, yep, yeah, there we go then. So, thank you so, so much. Ah, oh, Christina, that was her name. Ah, Christina Aguilera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she sings like that for some reason. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as usual. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon as well. And, oh, God damn it, achievements aren't supported. Uh, so let's just have a quick look there. I'll just show you for proof. Ignore the seven, because once we go back onto it, there it is. Right, nine out of ten, and of course the Broken Nose achievement will unlock later on in life, or PC is all good. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. But, 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 big, love.